In Airtable Automation, you can now access certain interface URLs. This allows you to do things like send a notification with a link to a specific record that will open in an interface. Let's check it out. Welcome to our channel. My name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business processes and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, please visit our website below to book a free console. Here we have a simple customer list. What we're going to do is set up an automation that looks for a customer or a record that has empty information somewhere. So in this case, we're going to look at an empty email. The point of this video is more so to show the new automation that's available where you can pass the interface URL. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to send a email to whoever the stakeholder is when a certain record has an empty email address. So the interface URL will get sent to the stakeholder. They'll be able to click on that link and it will open up that specific customer within the interface rather than within our actual database here. So it allows the end user just to see the information that we've provided them within the interface. So what that looks like, go ahead into the automations, create a new trigger when a record matches a condition we can select we'll select the table we have which is customers and then when the email is empty so i can test that we'll see here that there's no email that exists for this customer and then we can go in and click the next step which is just simply send an email we can enter this information we're going to add a subject. And then in the body, this is where we want to pass in the interface URL. First, I'm just going to say something like, here is a customer that does not an email address. And, and from there, we want to pass in the page record URL. So this is the interface here. We only have one interface which is customers. So we insert that. So what we're passing is this is just another simple interface. That's just showing the customer list, and then we can click into it, see the record details and make edits in line here. So this is great for the end user who we do not want to have access to the actual database back here. So to finish this off, we've now passed that page record URL. We can generate a preview. And this is the email that would be sent. Once you have run the automation and the email gets delivered, there's the link that's included. So you can also do this from your mobile device. And now that some of the views within the interfaces are available on mobile devices, you can click the link and it will open up the interface within Airtable and take you directly to that record within the interface. So that's also a neat and handy feature that has come out recently. This is the link that would go to that stakeholder. So we can test that, go to that URL. It will open up the customer directly here. And now we can go in and add the email address. So this is a really simple use case. Obviously you can get a lot more in depth and detailed than that, but it's just mostly to show the new functionality that was recently added by Airtable. That's it for this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more tips, tricks, and tutorials in the future.